Good idea. So um, first of all, they're asking us to identify the translations. Sorry, this looks like this. OK? Right? Identify the transformations. Now, rather than I'm not going to talk about vertex form or anything. I want to look at what is happening to our function. This is just for, do they have y or is this, yeah. So we're just looking for any function, like in a, any function. First thing is I remember um, I want to rewrite this with always with my variable in front. So I'll write, rewrite this as negative x plus 50. So now you guys can see there's two transformations that's going on. Thank you. So I have f of cx and I have f of x plus c. Right? Do you guys see how I am multiplying my variable x by a negative as well as I'm adding a 50 to it? Correct? So in our notes last class period, you can see that there are two transformations that's going on. This and that. Now, remember when c was a negative number, when we talked about multiplying by a negative number, this was a reflection of the y-axis. And when we added a number inside the function, that was a horizontal shift right to the left. So if you guys look at this, um, your answer would probably be reflect y-axis and horizontal shift 50 units to the left. But if you look at the answer in the back of the book, it's 50 units to the right. right? And why is that the case? Well, again, what we want to do is rewrite this so it's in this format. This is not really in this, in this format. It's in this format, but it's not in that format. What we need to do is we need to factor out that negative x. We need to factor that out because it's c times all of x, even if x is added or subtracted from another, from a number. So therefore, you need to factor out that negative. So it's a negative times x. And therefore, now you can see, again, did I change the problem? No. X, negative 1 times x is negative x. Negative 1 times negative 50 is still positive 50. There's no difference. But now it's written in this format that is correct. It still reflect y-axis. But now you guys can see, not only does it reflect the y-axis, but it's 50 units to the right. So the important thing I'm trying to tell you guys on this is whenever you have a function that is where you have a horizontal